Is computer programming hard to learn? Well, let's talk about that. My name is Shad Sluder, and I'm a professor of computer science and software development at Grand Canyon University. So to answer this question about whether programming is hard for you or not, let's ask some other questions first. How about you? What are your strengths? Like how well do you learn? What kind of subjects do you gravitate toward? So in this scale here, if you look on the right side, you're looking at what a programmer's strengths are. So if you struggle with trying to do things that are more logical, ma mathematical, then computer science will likely be more difficult for you. However, if you're balanced or you're kind of strong in this side of the scale, then programming is likely something that is good for you. Do you like to play Minecraft? That's a good indication that you would be probably on the programming scale. A second question for you is to ask yourself, what interests you? What kind of things would you like to learn and how to work with? So computers are very attractive to you. Well, then take a look at all of the different branches that you can get into, such as software development being one of them. But sometimes coding isn't really what people are interested in. So they get into IT management or in the communications fields or cybersecurity. And so there's lots of things here that are more than coding, but involve programming. And so that would also answer your question, whether programming will be hard for you, it's whether it really it interests you. So if you were to take a look at a career such as a software developer or a web developer, we'll say that there are specialties. Some people are more good at design and some people are more good at the coding. So find what your interests are and pursue them. So this is an ever expanding field. There is really a easy way to begin, but it's a hard field to master. So if on the left here, what you know is kind of what works with Minecraft, and then you're wondering, can I branch out? Well, the obvious answer is yes. And there's a ton of things to learn, but to get started is not so bad. But don't ever think that you'll ever master the entire field. There is some drawbacks here. As I observe any technical degree in whether it's engineering or computer science, it's rather difficult to finish. About 50% of the students end up switching to a different degree or they fail to finish for one reason or another. And that's not just at the university where I teach, that's pretty much standard across most universities. So it is a challenging de degree to get into. Fortunately, you don't have to have that degree if you want to find out if it's interesting to you. You can get started in some jobs without the college degree, so you won't be paid as well, of course, without a degree, and you probably won't have the background that other people do, but you can get started. Sometimes the choice of whether it is difficult to you or not depends on the language of the programming that you choose. So if you were looking for categories of how to develop software, you could say, Web design is one way, programming languages is another, and then managing data. As a matter of fact, this full stack is kind of the sequence that we teach our students at the university where I'm at. We start with web design, where we learn HTML, a language that is the markup of the internet. The CSS is the design part, where you change the colors and the style of the text. The languages that you choose for programming do affect how difficult something is. And so we'll talk about which ones of those are some of the easier ones and some that are more challenging. And then working with data and working in databases and storing things is also a big part of making any application work. And that is also a challenge to learn. Now, which ones of these are easy to learn? Well, web design is probably the easiest way to start. HTML is the language. This is what it looks like. If you wanted to make a website, you could put these tags together in something like a word processor, like Word or Notepad. And when you're done, it automatically shows in the browser in a formatted text font. So not so hard, is it? You could probably understand that from the first day that you started working with it. And then you say, well, I want to make my text look pretty. And you add what's called CSS, which is cascading style sheets. That's what CSS stands for. And this is what the code looks like. And when you're done, you have a prettier version of your website. So it's a design language for fonts and colors and borders and backgrounds and those kinds of things. So web design is a great way to get started. 
and it's not really that hard to learn. So start this at your middle school level or even high school, or if you're just getting into the technology degree and you want to become a programmer, then these are pretty fundamental things that you could learn in a week or two. So the second block is how difficult is it to learn programming languages? Well, can you understand the language that you see on the screen here? This is Python. And the language is fairly simple to pick up. So we assign some value called name to Shad, for instance, and then we want to print it. And can you see the syntax? Can you see the parentheses? You can see what's going on here. And this here is about as difficult as you need to start with to get going with Python. So where do you start? How do you pick something and what's the pathway and who's going to teach you? Those are the questions, of course, that we all would have if we want to know how difficult this programming is. So of course the answer is uh, you need to look at my YouTube channel. I have tutorials on how to program from the very first to more advanced. And you can actually become a professional web developer with the tutorials that are online. So if we were to compare these two places to start, you would see that web design is easier to learn. It's very visual. You get quick results. However, you get static results. They're not very uh, interactive. If you want to become uh, more dynamic and learn how things are controlled, then of course a programming language is needed. And so you can start with programming games or simple websites. So one approach to figuring out if programming is hard for you or not is to maybe pick up some of these toys. You've got a toy such as Lego Mindstorm, which is basically building robots and programming them with simple languages, working with toys and tools that you're accustomed to. So the way that you can start to program is very simple. It's built uh, with blocks, blocks of code. As you can see, you don't have to learn how to type a lot of things. And so dragging blocks around to make your program work uh, avoids the problem of trying to remember everything and how to spell everything. The coding in blocks is a great way to learn if you've never coded anything before. A lot of people get into programming by their interest in certain games. So to answer your question, is programming hard, is how easy it for you to work with Minecraft? Because Minecraft is essentially an environment for students to learn programming, even at a young age. And so there's an educational edition of Minecraft that might be a great way to start. I have another video that talks about all of the tools and toys and robotic kits that I would recommend for all different kinds of levels of learning. So to answer your question about whether programming is hard or not, we can start with what languages you're choosing to work with. So some are harder than others. Let's talk about Python and C Sharp, two languages that I think would be a great start for you if you haven't done any programming before. So Python is famous for being a simple language. The code that you see on the screen is Python. And this here doesn't have a lot of strange syntax. You have to be careful to indent things correctly, but it's very forgiving compared to other languages on how well you have to type. Now C Sharp, I believe, is a great language if you're trying to build applications that run on a computer because you can get started right away with a graphical user interface. And so you can see this is a picture from a C Sharp application and we're setting up buttons on a form. And literally you just drag things in and when you click the go button, your program is compiled and ready to run on a computer. And so this is how I've taught computer programming to high school students and even at the university we start with these kinds of projects. But in my opinion, a visual environment or a visual product is much more interesting and engaging to learn as you are coding than a black box with white text. And so Visual Studio and C Sharp are my choice for teaching somewhat professional level programming skills with simple tools. Of course, there are programming languages for pretty much every kind of thing that you can uh, imagine. So from robots to mobile phones to websites, programming languages differ for what they were designed for. So here's a grid of any language that you would find in common job postings today. So Python, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, C++, PHP, C, Kotlin, and Swift. If you learn any one of these languages well, then you probably have a great resume and you can be hired by many, many companies and do a variety of projects. 
So you don't have to learn all of these languages. If you just become an expert in one of them, you're going to be well suited for a lot of jobs. So how much time is it going to take you to do this? Well, you can start with pretty small investments of time. You can begin your first programs within two days. So if you were to look at my YouTube channel, I've got recommendations for starting your first program. And you could figure out whether this is interesting to you or not. By the time two weeks passes, you could have some simple games if you go through the tutorials and build a few things. And so it's not a massive investment of your attention, maybe two weeks or a month. And if you have fully functional apps in mind where you're creating a little bit more sophistication, you could have two months and pretty much have a good grasp of how things are supposed to work. And so if you choose a boot camp where you can spend fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for someone to teach you this, you could do this full time every day and at the end of two months, theoretically, you are ready to be hired. However, I would believe that if you want to become more involved, don't just plan on stopping learning after two months. You're going to learn for the rest of your life. There is an infinite list of things that you don't know and you never will know well. So essentially the, uh, the question is answered by you. Is programming hard? It is depending on your interests and your commitment to learning on the long term. So if you want to start off with learning some of the simplest programs, check out the video that I'm going to put here, which is about your first Windows program and see if it works for you or not. And if you like it, then keep going. Make sure that you subscribe here so that you can come back and learn some more tutorials and best wishes on your journey in programming.